Yo, 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 it's Kareezy with Jim across the street. Bah, 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 bah. The flow is cold murder. I'm stoned eating slow burger. Posted trying to roll me a slow burner. Dough earner, I'm dope for sure. That whack shit is what I don't prefer. That shit show won't work. Smoking herb, I'm in my stone cold shirt. I'm the reason why your bitch say her throat ho hurt. Nigga, go home, swear. What is good? I'm here today with Kareezy. How are you doing, friend? Bro? Pretty good, man. Um, you already know. Just chilling on a beautiful day in Portland, Oregon. Look you know at this. what I'm We're saying? We're out here at Edgefield today, McMinnons. Yeah, man. Um, dope spot here. Yes, sir. Um, cool. Let's go for a little walk. Let's check yes, it out. Yes, sir. Let's do it. I love this place. I uh, love this place. You said too. you used to work here a while ago, yeah? Yeah, I used to work here. Um, you know, just a little temporary thing. Just uh, matter of fact, I, w- I went. To, I was going to Hawaii, so I worked here to like kind of like just make some money real quick, and then I went to Hawaii. And then never came back. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Looks like they're doing a concert here tonight of some sort. There was a um, MGK concert like Wednesday or something like that. Oh, Wednesday they had one here. They usually do. A, yeah, oh, this place is popping when they do the shows. Of course. Yeah, and the MGK show was crazy. Like people were getting kicked out. It was there's <laughs> drunk people walking around trying to like get into people's cars and stuff. I think some things got stolen. You know, it was wild. I mean, but I guess that's like what the type of crowd MGK would bring. Look at that. Nice. They got that setting everything up. that. Beautiful. I was here, like, for the Roots concert. I don't want to say, like, right before COVID started. Um, That was dope. Oh, yeah, the Roots concert? Yeah. Yeah, I heard that was dope. I mean, I heard it, like, I live, like, Right around the block, so I heard I hear all the concerts, like the ambiance. I could just sit out on my porch. Isn't that great? To, yeah. In my house, I can do the same thing. I yeah. live close enough, I can slide my window open and just kind of hear the faint sounds. Of the Hell place. yeah! Yep. Yeah. yeah. And the cars are like parked all the way back up to my house. This is dope. Look at how big the setup is now. Hell yeah! Look, Look at that. Really I saw when I was here though for that concert. I got to see, uh, rest in peace, Cliff Robinson. Oh, you were you were here? I was here for the Roots concert. Uh, a few years back, and I got to see Cliff Robinson before he passed oh, away. Oh, shit. Uh, he was here that day, so. Cliff Robinson, one of the greatest Love Blazers of all time. Yeah, Uncle Cliffy, yeah. Yeah, man. I think my favorite Blazer is, is obviously Drexler. Ooh, Clyde, he was the shit. Drexler and Sabonis are, like, tied for me. You're kind of aging yourself a little bit. How old are you? I'm uh, I'm 32. 32, I just turned, okay. I just turned right. 32 uh, October 4th. October 4th, all right. Yeah, yeah. Happy so, birthday. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So here's yeah, Jerry right here. This is what I drug him down here. I can't believe you didn't know about this. No, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't yeah, know. Yeah, check this out. This is like, so here's Jerry. That's it right there? Mm-hmm. It's a statue that they made of him. Oh, okay. It's dope. He's like playing the guitar. He's missing the finger like he was. Oh, and... shit. Okay, yeah, I had no idea about this. For years, um, you'll find some people will leave their roaches when they smoke. Oh, really? They'll leave their roaches on Jerry. <laughs> I'm glad you told me that. Now I'm going to come up here and uh, use those for bong hits. Yeah, no, there you go. <laughs> What's up, Jerry? I brought, you a little, I brought you a little smoke, too, if you want to smoke. Oh, nice. I got okay. a, uh, there's a naturals there. Okay, you got the naturals. Something else for you, too. You can do it at your own liberty. You can smoke here, smoke there, wherever you want. Hey, okay. Yeah, That's what's up, man. Shouts to Jerry, what, what, though. What percent is it? Okay, nice. nice. Is, it, is it good? It's good, it's good. Yeah, I got like one indica and one like kind of good one, I thought. Gotta, gotta have that balance, you know Gotta have that balance. Gotta yeah. have the balance, you know what I mean? You don't want to be too up, you don't want to be too down. They're over here playing crazy white people games. What are they playing over here? Yeah, you know how it goes. <laughs> you know how it goes, man. <laughs> Let's go see what they're doing. Out here in uh, Troutdale, Oregon, you know what I mean? Hey, you'd be surprised how many of us live out here. I know, like when I, I, when I first us. moved out here, um, I started hearing about like other people that are moving up this way, closer out here. It's crazy. The market is booming. I'm actually about to. I'm thinking about the property that I live on, Airbnb. I'm thinking about Airbnb. You know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, that would be popping because, because for this place. That's yo. what I'm saying. You got yeah. Edgefield right across the street. You got the river down down the street. You know what I mean? It's just a great location. People can literally people can literally walk to the concerts. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then on concert nights, I can. I can up the price. You know what I'm saying? What do you think? Could you imagine playing to a look at this? That'd be wild. I'd probably be a little overwhelmed, honestly. This is crazy. I'd probably be a little overwhelmed. I'd probably do some crazy shit, jumping off stage, (laughs) slapping people, and like fucking going wild. What a great stage, though. That looks really impressive. That's crazy. 
they've been having concerts like literally every other day. Like when I leave my house, it's just all traffic right in front of my house. You the know parking I mean? over here is nuts when it's yeah. on the show nights and all that. Exactly, yeah. exactly. But that's what I'm saying. Like if I if I did Airbnb, like my um, my girl's like, oh, I want to move, I want to move. But I'm like, bro, you I, sell see, that I shit. see exactly what's happening. I see where the market's going. You There's know only like, I want to say, 100 rooms or something in McMinnons or less. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah. Great, great opportunity to make money. You know what I'm saying? And that's, that's what I'm thinking about right now is just ways I can make money. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, what have you been doing since COVID kind of? Since COVID happened, I've just been, like I said, thinking of ways to make money. Um, like, I still, I rap because that's like a part of me, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But what I'm thinking about right now, you know, I just had a son. He's six months old. Oh, congrats. Yeah, yeah. thank you. And um, First you know, child? No, it's my second, second child. Second child? All right. Yeah. yeah. So I moved out here um, just to get away from everything, kind of got away from rap a little bit. And, uh, you know, just figuring out ways to, to make as much money as I can and, like, have a good family and everything, you know what I'm saying? Right, I think yeah. a lot of people, um, you know, they think rap is the end-all, be-all, you know what I mean? Um, but I just think that, uh, for me, it's about family, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just want, want to continue the legacy for my kids and, um, you know, just have that um, support and stability for, for my children, you know you've what been, I mean? You've been at have the a, Have a beautiful for... home, and, and you know what I mean? And, like, you know, that that's 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 my what's important to me, you know what I'm saying? You, you had to have had some successes by now. I mean, I looked, the, was it Slow Burn that you did? Six, oh, Slow Burner, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, yeah. six years ago or something you did. Um, great yeah. song, super yeah, yeah, yeah. well put together. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Only got bars. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, I've been rapping for a, for a long time, so, you know. It's, it's, really, it's really nothing for me, but, um, you know, just thinking of ways to, like I said, just keep making money. That's the most important thing. And rap, whether I'm making money or not, rap is always going to be there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm always going to be um, thinking of bars, thinking of, uh, you know, ideas and ways to make dope songs and stuff. You know, I'll always have a studio. I'll always have a microphone, you know? So I'm just... The, the best thing for me right now is just to, you know, uh, like I said, just make money. That's that's main thing that's you gotta on my mind. Got to keep the family alive. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And, like, you know, um, just making sure my kids are straight. That's just so important to me. You know what I'm saying? It's so important to me, you know? I was commenting on his gear. Let me see the back of your, your sweater. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Look, he got the, man, that Boss is great, squat. Bro. You know that is I mean? extra ill. Nice. Yeah, it's got some of his art on the back. You know, yeah. I got I got more boss squat um, gear too. Matter of fact, uh, on Halloween I'm about to open up in my garage a little. Um, I'm gonna advertise it as a garage sale because of zoning, but like I'm, I got like a little store going on in my uh, in my garage that I'm about to have set up. So that's gonna be dope. Auto victory. Auto victory. Was that cornhole? What is going on here? Yeah. Cornhole. It is. Cornhole. That's what's up. I'm it's the best cornhole. cornholer ever. Oh, snap. <laughs> yeah. Every match can have its own right, Tom. Yeah, I remember I, I played my you dad. You actually played this before? Smashing. Is that what, what do they do? You throw, you throw it into the... Yeah, you throw it into the oh, thing. Oh, I see. You toss it into the little deal there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey can I try one real quick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got Portland famous rapper. Portland famous <laughs> rapper. Very famous. Very famous. I've never um, even seen this game before. This is crazy. You've never seen First it try. No. Huh. First try. Here we go. You guys right. ready? Yeah, Let's yeah. see it. First try. Oh, you're way too late. Back up. Oh, yeah. It's good oh, official. Let's get official. Front 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 you guys stand behind it. Oh. Oh. Put it in the hole, dog. This, this is a video. Uh, uh, you know, I'm good at putting okay. it in the hole. You can, hey, whoa, whoa. You can come uh -oh. up to the front. Yeah, yeah. Come up the side, man. You got to use the front. Right there. If you're gonna, if you're gonna get a toss, look at me. I'm like, kid's crazy talented. I was talking like about, I was talking all this big game, like I just knew what I was doing. But watch this. Here we go. Let's First try. It. You guys ready? We're your magic, Doc. All right, here it goes. <laughs> They've already seen like 50 throws today. Oh! Well, do it again. One more time. One more time. One more time. Yeah, one more time. You, you might want to grab all five. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. Here we go. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it like this. This is great. Here we go. Here, here it is, right here. Let's go, Reezy. You got this. There it is, in the hole. Oh, 
Oh! oh. oh. That was a nice toss. Gotta get one for the video. Oh, that's off. That's all right. Here My we go. show just Here we runs go. straight for 25 minutes, so <laughs> this could just be a big one. Oh! Here we go. Damn. Are you guys here for the show This is it. This is it. I was just fucking with y'all the first couple times. I'm done. I'm I'm retired. I'm retired. All right, cool. Thank you guys. I'll, I'll go yeah, home and practice. If and your then home's come not back. wore out, come back. <laughs> All right, yeah, man. man. All right, man. Cheers, friend. Have a great yeah, day. Yeah. Appreciate you. <laughs> yeah, man. I used to be good at cornhole. I don't know what happened. You're better than I am. <laughs> you know, that's what I love about this show sometimes. You just don't ever know what the fuck's going to happen. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, man. Just whatever goes, goes. You know what I'm saying? Damn, it's muddy over it's here. It's muddy as shit over here. <laughs> Um, you got any new music coming out? Is there anything um, new? Well, pumping? I just put out two singles, um, TED Talk and Crack Baby 89. Oh, I listened to TED Talk this morning. Yeah, TED Talk. Yeah. Um, what, I, what I like about those songs is uh, the reason why I did those, because, you know, I don't really rap too much unless, like, there's a goal. So what, uh, what my goal was with those was um, the producer, Brian, mm -hmm. um, fun to know on Instagram, he... Uh, we got together and we kind of like did everything from scratch, you know, like just made the beat and, you know, we both put our input in. He got the engineer thing going on. Um, and, you know, we just came up with it from scratch. Same thing with Crack Baby 89. So uh, that's that's what made me want to do music with him. Like, I don't really do a lot of music anymore. What's the name of that mixtape? Um, just 89. Just 89. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 89. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, those are out on all platforms. And Crack Baby 89, that was basically just, you know, I was born in 1989, you know what I'm saying? Hey. So, um, you know, I, I was in the full swing of uh, the whole whole crack era, you know? When I was when I was born, a lot of my family members were... Are you from the town? Yeah, I'm from the town. Where'd you go to school? I went to... Uh, or you uh, name them all, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, no, I just... Well, high school, I went to Cleveland. Cleveland? Yeah, but all I right. grew up I grew up in um, Northeast Portland, Irvington area. All right. Like close to the uh, MLK shoe store. All right, where are you talking about? Uh, Nike store. Yeah. yeah, so Not Street. Matter of fact, Not Street, I, I made a song called Not Street a while back and put out a video of that. I don't think it's, I don't think it's on YouTube. I don't know what happened. Like, I like the one that uh, you and Fit, you and Figure Eight did together. That was hella fun. Oh, Never Worry? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was yeah. a good little joint. He slid through on me one day and we just came up, came up with some shit, put it out. And then like a year later, I was like, hey, let's do a video. Oh, look what they do. Is this so you can, like, check out? Is your, You can leave your personals behind. That's not for the staff? Is that staff? what it's for? Or is that what it's for? I don't know. Maybe, don't like, know. at the show, so you can, like, lock your code up or something, and then, like... Shit, somebody will come up here and fucking take this whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. So, yeah, but what, I, what I've been focused on, like, what I was saying, my song, Crack Baby 89, just talking about the whole crack era... Um, you know, just growing up in the 90s in Portland, a lot of my uncles were locked up or coming out of jail. Yeah. And, you know, now that I'm the age that I am now, I'm just thinking about how that era affected us. You know what I mean? Leaving all, the, leaving all those kids at home alone with no parents. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. You know what I mean? How you guys doing? Hey, how you doing? All right, all right. But, um, you know, I was, I'm very lucky because I was raised by my grandmother, and she did a really good job. You know, and it was hard for her kids, you know, just growing up in that era with the whole cops and the war on drugs and, you know what I mean, the whole crack thing. So I just felt like I needed to speak on it. And there's a lot of things I feel like I need to speak on, you know what I mean? Well, if we're going to go there with it, then we got to talk about the Portland rapper song that you made. Oh, yeah, the Portland rapper song. What was going on in your head there, Reezy? What was going on in my head there was, um, I feel like, um, I kind of touched on it a little bit earlier, but I feel like uh, the focus is, or what the focus should be on, um, you know, creating, uh, like creating a, a community where, you know, everybody is, um, on the same page, you know what I'm saying? And I was that song wasn't 
a, you know, a couple people hit me up, didn't, didn't like it or whatever because of, uh, you know, they thought I was talking about them or something like that. But it wasn't me talking about anybody. It was just like, kind of like, if it needs to be said, it needs to be said. Otherwise, nothing's going to get done. I'll I give feel it like, up to you for that. I'll and I feel, like, that. I feel like the biggest problem here in Portland is nobody's going outside of Portland. You know what I mean? It's like, kind of like, you know, people stay in Portland and they don't leave. So, it, but then, you know, there's kind of like battles going on because uh, people are thinking, you know, whoever's the best or whatever. You know, DJ Zone said in his episode, he's done over 30,000 songs here in town. Damn. So he made a great point. He says, we all think that we're doing something original. And just exactly. A, just a block away, Yeah. there's a whole other group of five or six kids doing the same thing that you're doing. Exactly. And you guys don't know each other. Exactly. Exactly. So. And that's, that's basically what I was touching on, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. I, think, I think that we do need to expand. Um, you know, there... Uh, like we were talking about this, uh, I think Soul Luna is doing doing a great thing where he's just like touching everybody and then like bringing them. I watched again. You know, I'll say it, I've said it multiple times now. I watched 400 people come out of a building that I have never seen in my life. Exactly, and I think that's you know uh, just building a social, you know, environment, you know, a social community where everybody wants to come out and you know and see. Because a lot of times people go, they're like, hey, I'm rapping here's my show, come to my show. And like, it doesn't really- Translate. It doesn't really, tra if, you make, if you make it fun, like, hey, there's this dope party event, there's gonna be this there, there's gonna be vegan food or whatever. He there's does gonna a be great hamburgers. job of that. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So yeah, I'm much, that's much respect on him, but- um, That's a wonderful shirt, sir. <laughs> look at that. Fantastic. Styling, you guys Woo! look great today. Oh, you gotta see the cops. Oh, oh man. let's see too. the cuffs. Okay. Let's see the cuffs. Oh. Sure, you guys see the cuffs. Ooh, oh. brother looks good. <laughs> That's Gucci. You look great up. as well, man. You look great as well. <laughs> <laughs> that shirt is dope. <laughs> yeah. Right. It looks like someone snuck a. Someone snuck into the uh, the wine. They put like a large straw in there and like just sucked it all out. <laughs> I think I think that's what happened at the MGK concert. People were coming People over were here, back just, here just yeah. tapping the wine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, that's dope. Yeah, look at all the. There's a ton of these around here. <laughs> I like the way it looks though. It gives it this old school like. Um, no. Fifteen hundreds. I mean, this is this people love about this place. It's just yeah. the old timiness of it and. The, yeah. A lot of weddings, uh, of course, concerts and shows. How you guys doing? Good. How are you? All right. Is there a wedding today? Oh, that's what congrats, I'm talking about. Congratulations. Congrats, hey. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah so man. like we were saying, busy, busy with all kinds of... Yeah, every, people um, are working, everything's going on. We got a couple minutes left on the show here. You want to give some shout-outs or some love yeah. or PSA on the way out? Yes, sir. Um, yeah, first of all, TED Talk, Crack Baby 89 all platforms. Videos out on Instagram. Um, yeah, shout-out to uh, my homies in Denver. Big Lambo, three, you know what I mean? Doing big things, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody in Portland doing their thing, you know what I mean? It's all love, I love all y'all, you know what I mean? Hit me up if you need anything, you know what I'm saying? Also, one thing I wanna say is that um, I have a big goal, and if anybody wants to talk to me about it, please feel free to do so. We're tr I'm just trying to rebuild the infrastructure back in the black community. Hey. Um, I, I touched, you know, this is why I made, made the Crack Baby 89 song. I think these things are important. I think, you know, um, it needs to be talked about more. So, yeah, just if you got any ideas, hit me up. I got some things in the plans and things in the work. We're just trying to rebuild that infrastructure and community back into our youth and in the schools and, you know, uh, rebuild that sense of family. You know what I mean? Kind of been saying that, too. Let's all spend our money around town with each other and try and keep, uh, you know, the black dollar, the hip hop dollar, whatever it may be, let's keep it all in our same pockets and, you know. Exactly. Buy your videos from Black Lagoon. Oh, go ahead, oh, go ahead, go sorry. ahead. You guys good, you guys good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys look uh, great. You're the you star. I mean? That's what I'm talking yeah, about. Yes, sir. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, we need to keep that keep that up. Buy your videos from local people. Buy your beats from local people. Go to rec local recording studios. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and you know, just you know, everything you just said, hit yeah. it right on the head. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Perfect. You know what I mean? What's he doing up there? He was up there playing around on top of that thing. Dude, he's gonna 
fall. Oh. And then he's, was, tr- he's trying to get into the giant barrels and get hella drunk. <laughs> get hella drunk. You know what I mean? <laughs> so what are you going to do the rest of the day, sir? Anything plans? Any big plans? Um, for today? I yeah. don't have any big plans for today. I'm just kind of just chilling um, in, the, in the neighborhood, you know, just uh, chilling with the girl and, and the child, you know what I'm saying? So then, then to, my life isn't too exciting anymore. It's super nice out today. At least. It is super nice out. Super so, nice. So since my life isn't too exciting, that's this is what I enjoy. <laughs> just, just, just doing this. Just this. You we know, I, I lived all my crazy days in twenties, in my twenties. You know what I'm saying? Like, we out here. I'm, I'm good. I want to, I want to figure out this grown man stuff now. You know what I mean? We on some grown man stuff. You know what I mean? So hit me up if you, if you're ready to be on some grown man stuff. You know what I'm saying? Well, I look forward to hearing some new music for you soon enough. I know you just dropped a couple things, but I look forward to hearing that. Um, yes, sir. Yes, sir. And, um, yeah, if any producers, uh, you know, want to work on something from scratch, I don't like to, like, buy beats and then just make a, make a song out of right. it. I want to, like, do the whole structure from the beginning. You know what I mean? I Craft sit, something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I want to sit there with the producer, sit there with the engineer, you know what I mean, and really come up with something you know, original, you know, and I think that's where the originality is going to come from. Another thing I would like to say is I think um, Portland, uh, one of the things we all as artists, including myself, uh, I think it would be important to work on is having our own sound. And I think that would come with, you know, doing everything from scratch, you know, sitting there with the engineer, sitting there with the producer, the artist, the producer, the engineer, all working together and then coming up with stuff. You have worked with some town greats already. So, oh, yeah. I mean, oh, yeah. You've had a lot of people in your, you know, your camp at the time or whatever. But, yeah, just you've already kind of accelerated, I feel like, through the yeah. ladder here in Portland. So um, Yeah, I mean, everyone I work with, you know, I, I respect a lot. And, you know, um, a lot of people taught me a, um, a lot of things about music. Uh, like Mike Bars, for example, he, they, when I met him, I didn't know anything of, about like the whole recording process or nothing. Sure. So I just learned, I just learned so much. You know what I mean about marketing, things that I didn't never thought about before. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, that's one of the the people I, I respect here in Portland, um, just because I just I would not have known super talented everything. man. Super exactly. talented man. I would not have known any a lot of the stuff that I know now. If I didn't, if we didn't collaborate, so yeah, it's all it's all good. You know what I mean? Much love to Mike Bars. Much love to Scooter Rogers. Much love to Mike Capes. I was just at the Mike Capes show the other day with uh, Swiggleman. Uh, yeah, Swiggleman, Dre Slaps, Mike Capes. Win was there. It was a dope show. Last night was Boo Bomb. Boo Bomb? Yeah, they did the E40 I, in them and the I game. Saw, I saw the advertisement. Cool Nuts uh, performed last night. Yeah, yeah, Boo Bomb. Yeah. That's, that's like an every year event, ain't it? It seems like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah, been yeah. going on for a while here, yeah. yeah. Yeah, man, that's what's up. Yeah. No, we got a lot a lot of stuff shaking in the city, so that's right. Yes, sir. It's like it's about to be popping here tonight. It's about to go down here tonight. I think yes, a lot of people sir. Are. How you guys doing? You guys here for all the show right, tonight? All right. Yeah, no. Just kind of no. cruising. Yeah, okay. That, right. It's a beautiful day for it. it you know what I mean? It might be the, one of the last ones we have before it starts raining every single day. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yes. Enjoy it while you can, you know? Cheers. <laughs> yeah. Well, hey, man, thanks for coming out and uh, being a part of the show. Uh, if there's anything I can do for you in the future, you let me know. Um, other than that, I think maybe we should go mingle a little bit. So. Yeah, I feel you, man. I'm ready. Let's do it. I, like I said, I ain't got nothing to do today. Let's, let's, let's do it. All right, man. Cheers. We'll talk to you soon. Much love.